work as a filmmaker and as an artist never ever begins with politics. It always begins with the power of a story to move the heart. You can sort of garner from the clip that I'm sort of a science and science fiction fanatic, and so I spend a lot of time watching Nova videos. This is an image of the Earth that we often see, but it's still one that moves me. This is the biosphere, right? From the deepest bottom of the ocean to the tip of the ozone, this is all the life that we know exists on the planet, for sure, in the universe, for sure. And we now have to share this planet with 7 billion people. Now, less than 1% of the Earth is clean, potable drinking water. If we could see it on this globe, it would be a little spot. And so we are facing a crisis of epic proportions. When I start to tell these stories, there's a way of feeling overwhelmed. You know, you sort of get this deep sinking feeling about this mounting crisis, and what could I possibly do, you know, to turn this situation around? But then I always take inspiration from the words of Han Solo. He says, never tell me the odds. Whenever he's talking to C-3PO and they have to make this impossible leap into the next galaxy, he says, never tell me the odds. And the reason that he says that is because there is no other alternative. There is no other choice. Our survival as a species depends on us. So one thing that we have on our side is the power of a story. You know, I never dreamed um, that this film would have the impact that it had. This film has been used um, as an organizing tool in 40 villages across Africa. It's um, been used to help the, the campaign to boycott prepaid meters in South Africa. And so one of the things that I love about science fiction is that it's the story of the future, right? It's the story of the future. We get to imagine the story of the future. And the beautiful part is this is a script that we all write together. It's up to us to say a drop of life for the five million children who die every year from a water-related illness. It's up to us to say a drop of life for every girl child who is kept from an education because they have to walk 15 kilometers to collect water. It's up to us to say a drop of life for all of humankind and every species on the planet for generations to come. Thank you so much.